Prince Harry didn't receive same level of support to Prince William collateral damage. Prince Harry has been labeled as collateral damage in the spare as Meghan dealt with media toxicity, a British author claimed. The second part of the infamous BBC documentary The Princes and the Press was broadcast last night. Unlike the first, this one highlighted the difficulties faced by Sussexes after their relationship strained with the media. The documentary focuses on the support and treatment given to Cambridges over Sussexes who have been called spare. The BBC documentary by Amal Rajan was aired last night that was escalated the rough relationship between the media and the royal family. It announced that blueprint for success in terms of what they wanted, which was a half-in-and-half-hour approach. It was more Queen and members of the royal family being blindsided by the fact they made it public than they had agreed no to. In the snippet from the infamous interview at Oprah Winfrey show, she asks Prince Harry, did you blindsided the Queen? Prince Harry replied, no I have never blindsided my grandmother, I have too much respect for her. BBC documentary host Amal Rajan narrates, the Sussexes did not get the departure deal they wanted. Prince Harry can be seen giving a speech in the documentary, he says, our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations but without public funding. Unfortunately, that was not possible. Mr Rajan narrates, what Harry did, he was able to do it because he is the spare, he is technically collateral damage in this which is why he did not receive the same level of support that Prince William might have faced if the Duchess of Cambridge was facing equally as toxic a media. And so William has made a really smart decision, one that fits his role. The documentary reflected on issues and reasons that prompted Harry and Meghan to step down as senior royal members. During the BBC documentary, a snippet of Prince Harry's old interview saw the host questioning him on the sources of the news regarding the turmoil behind the palace. Prince Harry replied, I hazard a guess that it probably could have come from within the institution. Just as the news came into the media, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex released a statement on Instagram almost hours after it made to the morning front page. It read, After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent, while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America continuing to honor our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. This geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter, including the launch of our new charitable entity. We look forward to sharing the full details of this exciting next step in due course, as we continue to collaborate with Her Majesty the Queen, the Prince of Wales the Duke of Cambridge and all relevant parties. Until then, please accept our deepest thanks for your continued support. The following decision was taken by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex due to the lack of support from the British media as well as the royal family. The air and spare system has always dominated the British royal family since the beginning, with the dynamic often coming into play in earlier generations.
Support. The following decision was taken by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex due to the lack of support from the British media as well as the royal family. The air and spare system has always dominated the British royal family since the beginning, with the dynamic often coming into play in earlier generations.